the twin engine turboprop ATR-72 was flying low and was unstable, pouring out smoke and fire. The pilots were struggling to keep the aircraft in the air. Mayday, mayday. And then... November the 4th, 2010, an ATR-72 operated by Aero Caribbean was operating its routine flight from Port-au-Prince, Haiti to Havana, Cuba, with a stopover in Santiago de Cuba. On board the flight were 61 passengers and 7 crew members. The flight took off from Port-au-Prince, Haiti, and landed at Santiago de Cuba without any notable events. Flight 883 began taxiing towards the runway. After completing all the checklist, the flight started its takeoff roll. Aero Caribbean Flight 883 took off from Santiago de Cuba for its journey towards Havana. After taking off, the flight climbed to a cruising altitude of flight level 180. The crew contacted Havana Control and requested permission to climb to flight level 200. The total air temperature was 3 degrees, but while climbing towards flight level 200, it drop to minus one degree and the airspeed dropped from 196 knots to 176 knots. Flight 883 was cruising at flight level 200. Suddenly the icing caution light started to illuminate on the instrument panel with an associated chime. The speed of the aircraft was dropping and the flight computer was warning the crew that the aircraft is going to be stalled. The crew turned on the anti-icing switches on the overhead panel and contacted Havana Tower and requested permission to descend to flight level 160 due to IC. But the controller could not approve because of conflicting traffic within just 30 miles ahead. Then the crew requested vectors to enable them to descend and ATC gave clearance to change course from 295 degrees to 330 degrees. The speed of the aircraft dropped to 156 knots. It suddenly started to turn right. Then again it banked left and right. Then it started to banking 90 degree to the left with a steep nose down attitude. The pilots were struggling to control the aircraft because it was banking, turning and losing altitude rapidly. The aircraft struck mountainous terrain which killed all 68 people.
The investigation was done by Civil Aviation Authority, Cuba. They analyzed the flight data and cockpit voice recorders in cooperation with the French BEA and ATR. Which showed that airplane was in good technical condition. The flight was proceeding normally until it found itself in extreme meteorological conditions that caused it to ice up severely at an altitude of flight level 200 and the crew were unable to handle the situation which led to the crash. Please share your thoughts in the comment section about the video and the investigation report. This much for today. If you want to watch more videos like this, then please click the subscribe button. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.